Despite years of effort, there is still no awakening. Because somehow you are the greatest obstacle to it. The only thing that prevents you from awakening is you. What I refer to as you is merely a tiny yet ingrained belief you hold about yourself. And let's try to uproot it and see how to dissolve all this false conditioned belief together. Speaking of false beliefs, I've got to tell you a story that happened yesterday. Um, Why well, I'm gonna start. Okay, my great aunt comes to my place once in a month to read the Bible. She proposed to us and we say, yeah, that's a great idea. Even if I mean most most religious people remain at the level of the mind when they read the Bible, when they read the words of Jesus. And I still find it interesting to read the Bible with them. And what's the point of this? Um, I thought that I would never tell her about what happened to me, about this awakening, you know. Because you see, I have never found an opening to talk about this topic with her, about to talk about this awakening that I had. And sometimes I feel like it's challenging to talk to people um, who are very conditioned by religion. And yesterday that was completely different. That's why God is very clever. God is very clever. You will understand why. And at some point she told me, Tony, I've got to tell you something, you know. I read the Bible every single morning. I pray every single morning. And sometimes I feel depressive. I've got these negative thoughts within my mind and I don't know how to deal with them. And within, deeply within myself, there is something is missing. And when she told me that, I was like, I needed to tell something. And I, I said, listen to me, Sonia, I experienced the exact same thing. And I needed to find a way out. And the only way out is within. There is no other way out than this. And uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's quite, that's quite funny because she was like a teacher for us, you know? She teaches us the, um, the Gospels, the Old Testament, the, the New Testament. And before seeing her, we were like, hey, teacher, what are you going to teach us today? And yeah, we were laughing about this. And at this point, that was completely different. And there was no pride for this. But when she mentioned that she doesn't know how to deal with, uh, with all these incessant thoughts, you know, I started speaking like for 45 minutes, even, even more, I don't know. But that's, that's why God is very clever, you know. God is very clever because that was truly spontaneous. There is no Tony that is talking that was deeper than, than this, you know. And I, I started to, to speak about our true essence, who we are more fundamentally. Uh, what are those thoughts? Are they truly real? Are they truly real? Or are they are an illusion? And um, I started speaking about the observer. You have this power within you to observe the thought. Leave them impersonal. All the blah 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 that I've been speaking in my videos. And you know that was a deep exchange. It was a deep conversation. and and. And there, there was a big joy with that, and and I know that I deeply know that God wanted this, wanted this for her because she 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 had a kind of suffering within her, and that's why that's why God is so clever, is so clever, because 
he wanted he wanted us to to talk about this at this very moment and she had a kind of shock about this but that was a positive shock she was like Tony I, I, I don't know what to tell but um, I think you found the truth but I have never heard about this before but when I see you your, your joy you, you told me about this peace inner peace all this unconditional love I think I truly deeply think that 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 is the truth and I want to experience the same and that was so beautiful so thanks God again even if it's God is is within us thanks God <laughs> so let's return to the main point guys so what could prevent you from awakening maybe the strong belief that you are someone or a seeker yeah we know that blah 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 <laughs> However, as I've been sharing, all these beliefs come to an end when we seize the movement in time. Because the ego mind operates with past and future seemingly. So, you who are watching, is there an entity doing the watching or do we simply watching? Take a moment on that. You can pause the video if you want and take a moment on that. In the absence of past and future, is there truly a you within? Or are we simply watching our presence? maybe the strong identification with this physical body and i think this is the strongest one <laughs> but when we close our eyes this physical form ceases to exist ceases to appear but something remains but you are still here you still exist right now by this i mean with eyes closed without adding a mental image this physical body doesn't exist and you can't even feel the contours of your physical body how can it be you You can't even feel the contours of your body. Can you feel, for instance, the contours of your shoulders? This curve, for instance, can you feel it? For example, this is your body here and here is not the body. Can you feel it? Try it. In the direct experience, without adding a mental image of your body. You can't. There is something infinite, formless. Of course, there are some body perceptions, but that's not body perception, that's perceptions appearing in your field of consciousness. And you are centerless and bonded. Maybe you struggle with being present, like I can't be now, I can't feel the present moment. So we return to the initial point. The ego mind cannot experience, cannot feel the present moment, cannot exist in the present moment because it operates with a movement in time, with past and future. So we need to seize this movement to experience your true nature. Therefore, we need to take a backward step from the ego mind into a space we are, where we are able to observe the ego battling with itself in order to get rid of itself. <laughs> Simultaneously, even this battle of the ego between past and future appears now. So you can't escape the present moment. And we are getting 
the receptor here but at some point this fleeting battle between the ego mind will fade away and the power of thought identification will become i would say weaker and weaker so you need to practice this power of observing with detachment simply by being being as awareness aware of itself and from that space everything is welcome <laughs> that's my sentence everything is welcome for your true being for your higher self okay much love guys <laughs>